It's official, Iron Fish is going ASIC resistant, and to top that all off, it's coming at us with a brand new hashing algorithm, which means we'll see something we've never seen before on a project that is unfortunately VC backed, but this is still a positive note overall for GPU miners. Let's go ahead and get into it. Yesterday, around 10.30, the votes were confirmed thanks to a post on my locals at sonofatech.locals.com by Ghost Ames. We have this screenshot from the Adi Dev Deva. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'll just be honest. And it says, hello and welcome. Actually, we do not record weekly miners calls, but you can learn more about the algorithm options here. And then it goes on to say that here is the actual result from the voting for the algorithm that we covered previously. If you want to go over all the benefits of all the algorithms, definitely check that video out. But FishHash had 72 votes. Remember, this is coming from the LOL Miner Dev. Then Blake3 had 29 votes, which was just to basically remain on the current algorithm that Ironfish is already on. Auto Likos with five votes, ET hash B3 with one vote, and then Prog Pal zero and ET hash 3372 zero. Thus, Fish Hash contributed by the, uh, well, LOL, LOL IDEB. There you go has been chosen. So I had a feeling this was going to be the route that everything went, especially after making the last video with all of the options and the proposal from Mr. LOL Miner and all of the comment section from you guys. Definitely looked like that was the route that we are going to see take place. Now I did ask what the timing for this was going to be. And it looks like I couldn't find the actual original post. I'll be honest. I clicked this little link that he gave me this monthly pulse it, it, they didn't have the actual answer but the best answer i can give you guys right now is that it says a few weeks so apparently it's a few weeks for the deployment now from what we heard uh, from the developer on this particular hashing algorithm it was stated that it would take about a week to really get implemented because some of the changes and everything were already completed. So this makes a little bit of sense. I assume that we'll have a fork here as well. I don't know if it's going to be a soft fork or a hard fork. Hopefully I'll be able to answer some of those questions as we get closer to it. But within a few weeks, we will see a shift for the mining algorithm and we will start to see all of those FPGAs get kicked off of Ironfish, which is going to drastically change the network. And this is another interesting point too, because this will have the exact opposite visual effect that we saw on Caspa recently with the hash rate of Caspa going up and up and up and up. But in reality, the amount of miners actually going down because no GPU miners and no FPGA miners. And there's like 3000 to 5000 ASICs deployed. So obviously smaller number as compared to, you know, hundreds of thousands of GPUs being deployed, but the hash rate showing lower, we're going to have the exact opposite effect over here on Ironfish. That is going to be essentially what we see on the ironfish uh, hash rate charts if we go to mining pool stats dot stream i'll show you guys here you'll see essentially this number the 1.2 petahash begin to significantly decrease and this is because the actual hash rates will be quite a bit different even on the gpu side because as you can see here if we take a look at the proposal algorithm it'll be 39.5 mega hash a second on an RTX 3070. Now, if you were to look at what that would be on Ironfish in general right now, obviously much higher, 11,710 mega hash a second. So this decrease is gonna look really, really crazy. It's gonna look like Ironfish is losing a bunch of hash rate, but in reality, it's going to be basically going and shifting all the way over to GPUs and using an algorithm that significantly changes that metric. So keep that in mind as we move into there. It doesn't mean that we're losing miners or gaining miners. In theory, we'll see a lot more G GPU miners pop on to the Ironfish network, especially early on as they try to capitalize on the early 
you know, rewards or yields that could possibly be there. And then we'll kind of see how it settles out and try to do a calculation as to how many GPUs are actually on the network there. Now, if we're talking about how much it's going to cost you to mine at 10 cents a kilowatt hour right now, it does look like according to the test results for the proposal, a 3070 will be using 115 watts. This means, you know, using a calculator here, we'll get rid of these and the miner fee and the pool fee, calculate that out. You'll have about 27 cents a day, 28 cents a day at 10 cents a kilowatt hour for an RTX 3070 running on it. So hopefully your yields will be high enough to compensate for that. That's something I would keep in mind. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Here's the advantage you can get. The faster you can get onto the network and start mining it, the higher the yields will be, especially right off the snap, meaning that the early bird gets the worm in this particular case. But as everybody moves over and the hype kind of builds up behind it, you may want to consider moving to something else that has higher yields as people move off of other algorithms to check this out. Now, right now, if we look at Hive on statistics, of course, it'd be important to take a look at what people might be moving off of. I think in general, you know, most of the GPUs are sitting over there on Dynex right now at 22% of the GPU market on in Hive OS. That doesn't include, of course, things like MMP. POS and you know custom distros and all that sort of stuff but that's still this is a significant thing to look at because most GPU miners are still utilizing Hive on and then it kind of goes down from there right we've seen a huge drop off in Caspa of course as the ASICs have taken over and then you have some things like Nexa, which would be pretty much primarily GPU right now at 6%. You have Ergo at 4%. Watching these balance out with this introduction into Hive OS will be really interesting. I look forward to seeing exactly how this is going to shake out. And I'd like to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. Are you stoked on this hashing algorithm change for Ironfish. Will you be moving over to it immediately or giving it some time to work itself out? What are your thoughts? What are your plans behind this move? Don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe, and notification bells down below. Don't forget uh, that I have the crypto mining e-course at sonofatech.com, which you can get a free month of supporter status on locals at sonofatech.locals.com if you're wanting to track my daily moves and progress and all of that. Also, make sure that you are got that notification bell. Click down below. We have more videos coming out this week. I think we have a really interesting GPU release on the horizon here that's been leaked. I'll be talking about that tomorrow. I'll see you next Tuesday.